This video is sponsored by Fear of Dying a Skillshare. This video is sponsored, sponsored by Skillshare. Okay, so I'm not usually interested in the classes I take in school. Mostly because they have nothing to do with what I'm actually in school for. Like I'm a media production major and one time I took a class about caves. I don't know what holes in the ground have to do with anything but where my money is going for going to college for cameras, but whatever. But the class that I was in now had my complete attention philosophy and no not because i really cared about what aquinas thought about choice or whatever not. i'm still usually ko'd in the back of that class every other day too no it's because today's topic was about something i'm really anxious about and it wasn't death it wasn't free will it wasn't some awful analogy about being scared of a shadow in the cave not nah, well, there's a lot of cave stuff for the media production major but it was about if you would ever really find love and look okay not gonna lie i've been on that train for a bit i mean i'm not saying i really want a girlfriend but I would really want a girlfriend. I don't know, man. I've just always had a fear of dying alone, which unlike y'all and y'all's fear of like spiders and heights is actually rational. Like, bro, you get bit by a spider, you're not gonna die. Why are you freaking out? You're scared of heights. Homie, I got the solution for you. Don't walk forward. Really simple. Uh, don't wanna die alone. Uh, make someone love you enough to stay by your side even until your last breath. It's a bit more of a task I feel like, look, I'm not the most put together person and I just would really like slapping a cute human who thinks I'm attractive and wants to watch Netflix with me. I, I feel like that would make the whole situation better. You know what I'm saying? But while everyone was arguing, someone raised their hand in some kind of response saying this. Well, 80% of people meet the person they're going to marry by 22. Um, yo, do you know how scary this statement is? Especially for me, who was a 21 year old at the time, Time's winding down. Like, oh, this statement implies that I have probably already met my future spouse. And if that's the case, boy, am I in trouble. Like, I don't like any of you people. And if it's not them, then there's a long shot I'll meet the right one down the line. So most likely, um, I'm hot. So my rush to find someone only got hastier since then. And now, okay, look, I, I know what you're thinking. I'm not that dumb, though. There really is a lot of speculation on if this statement is actually true. Like, come on. Look at it. It screams clickbait. Uh, that's why I used it. I mean, I feel like it's super common for people to see a fact and believe it because it was in a picture on Twitter and then it's just real now. It's just a real thing. Look at this statement. This really sounds like one of those times, okay? And in fact, when I was panicking in my seat, I checked myself to see. I did a little Google search and tried to search for the stat and nothing. Look for any information on the topic and nothing. Chances are he's just making it up or got some wrong information. So whatever. So then why? In the fuck am I sweating so much? Even though that statement, as wild as it is, and I couldn't find it anywhere online, I was panicking about it and seeing it everywhere. I realized my parents met when they were in college. My old roommate just proposed to his girlfriend he met freshman year. A lot of my friends have girlfriends right now that they are very long-term serious with, and they met before 22. My roommates went to three weddings of their friends. We're all qualified. Three, three, how? I even went on this subreddit that asked women where they met their partners. And like the majority of the people there said before 22, like stop confirming my fears, internet. And I, I don't know about y'all, but I can't tell you how many times I scroll through Instagram and see people I went to college or high school with in a relationship that's going down the marriage route. Like people are already married or with a baby. Not necessarily happening in that order though. I'd rather avoid those reasons to meet someone. No, yikes. This whole process has been like when you get a headache and you Google the symptoms and it's cancer and now you're feeling all the nerves neurological symptoms in your body because your brain works like that. But nah, this time it's the 2% that you go to the doctor for an MRI and they're like, nah, you have a giant tumor right here. That's that's what's happening. And I mean, it makes sense because the way 22 is set up, it's like the last years of your young social time in our lives. Like it's my last years of college, the time where you're going out and actually meeting people that you're literally forced to see every day. Like that was the reason I dated half the girls I dated in high school because we forced to see each other every day. Like, thanks, life. I'm not doing that on my own. There's first job we're in class together at social events. But after that, you have to search differently. You're a real adult doing real big boy jobs. So running into people like that in a daily routine is a lot less likely. You grew up with those people who went through a very defining life period and those connections happened fast. And during class, I was paying about it. And to be honest, I still am. <laughs>
Like, I really, I really am not okay with this. If you will prove, like, even during a getting a robot video, I was kind of panicking about it there. In marriage? Oh, dude, but those are the questions, like, you wonder about, like, dude, am I, is it too late? Like, my parents met in college. Like, what am I gonna do? I'm getting way too deep for anime recap. Like, I don't know, man, it's, it's scary. It's, if I'm feeling worse now, actually, that I'm bringing it up. Uh, Kurt, are you okay? Vivi, what if this whole thing is true? Like, what, what if most people meet the person they're gonna end up with before 22? Because... I'm 23 now. Like, did I, did I, did I blow it? Did I? Kurt. So if the case is that I haven't met someone, when will I? Am I going to end up being with someone I already know? Kurt, please keep it together. Oh God, baby, I think I'm going to have a panic attack. I don't, what am I, I think I'm, am I going to find someone? I don't. <sighs> please don't die in the middle of a video. Oh, I, all right, I, I just need reaffirmation. I need to talk to a married couple that didn't get together before 23. Hold on. Baby, give me, give me a phone, please. You're shaking, Kurt. Baby, give me a phone. Uh, hello? Help. Kurt? What the hell's wrong? Okay, so I'm just kind of worried I'm never gonna find someone. Why are you calling? Especially since there's this thing where 80% And of people you're just gonna ignore me. Alright. <laughs> it's Kurt. I think he's dying. Because you and Crystal, man, you're like 20, so I thought if I just called you to reaffirm. Wait, okay, I didn't catch any of that. But me and Crystal actually met when we were 19 and 20. Wait, I thought y'all got together in your mid-twenties. I've never told you anything about my marriage once. <laughs> How long have y'all been married? <sighs> Coming up on eight years. He Hello? Yeah, pretty sure he's having a panic attack. Can you guys talk some sense into him? And who is this? Someone who's really, really concerned they're not going to get paid this month. Uh, okay. I'm not exactly sure I'm going to talk to an unconscious person. I'm 80% sure he can still hear you, so just go for it. All right. Um, yo, Kurt, like whatever stats or however you feeling right now, I, that's none of that's true. There's plenty of people who I know personally, not even in their mid-20s, late 30s, they're not in a relationship. So just, it's, it's going to be all right. You could be, you could be lucky and find someone tomorrow. You just calm down. Is he good? I think there's foam coming out of his mouth. Are you still talking to Kurt? Yeah, I'm trying to, but I think you he knocked know what? out. You know what? Uh, let me let me help. Give it give give to me phone. Oh, okay. Hi, Kurt. Uh, you listening? He's probably listening. All right, great. Um, quit acting like a. Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> Who the f Kurt. cares if it is true or not? Don't be a dumb. Kurt. Why are you so anxious to find the person that you're gonna marry? That should not be your main focus in life, especially at your age. If you're so scared that you're freaking out and just looking everywhere for someone, it probably means that you don't have your own sh together and aren't comfortable enough with yourself to just be okay being by yourself. Which really, honestly, that just disqualifies you from actually finding somebody that's gonna be healthy and long lasting anyway. So just stop being such a f All right, Crystal, look, there's, there's no way that that's actually gonna- you gotta be kidding me. Some people just need to be yelled at. Thanks, guys. Yeah, just call, call us less. No promises. Oof, okay. You got it together? I, I think so. Okay, good. You're not dead. I still have a source of income. My job here is done. You did literally nothing to help this. My job here is done. Ugh, okay, I, honestly, recently I've been really able to tell how much I've been worrying about this kind of stuff. And, I, and I'm starting to think that me worrying about it shows that I'm not really ready for it. I know I've always heard this thing about how you won't find someone when you're looking. I hear that all the time from my friends. And honestly, I think it's kind of true. Like the times I wasn't looking is really when things kind of happen. Also part of the air of desperation when stinking off my body or something that was it too. But really rushing into things is never the answer, period. Just because you're lonely or you want someone. And there's no reason to be pressed to get someone now just because you know you're a little bit later in life like i'm not even that far like i really don't have anything to worry about i mean it sounds corny but setting that foundation first of being okay with yourself is necessary because everyone goes at their own pace with this relationship thing so it was homeboy yelling in class right uh, yes no really the thing is the, it doesn't matter who cares best thing i've learned to do is not care and just work on me because if you put that much energy and panic in that you probably won't find someone. And even worse, if you do, you might be in it for the wrong reason. So I'm gonna just work on me. Whatever happens, happens.
So, so like we established, finding someone is secondary to being okay with yourself. And Skillshare, an online learning community that offers membership with meaning, is really a key to making that nice little platform work. With so much to explore, real projects to create, and the support of fellow creatives, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. Skillshare offers classes designed for real life, so you can move your creative journey forward without putting life on hold. And learn and grow with short classes that fit your busy routine. So I've been trying to be okay with me and be like a real productive member of society. So I've been checking out the course Real Productivity, How to Build Habits That Last by Thomas Frank. Because I want to be a productive slob instead of a passive one. And I've been watching writing character driven short stories by Yagoon Lee. So I can expand on these videos just a bit more, you know? So y'all, why miss out on you know being a better person? Especially when it's so affordable to be good. Compare that to pricey in-person classes and workshops. An annual subscription fee is less than $10 a month. So like, come on. And in fact, I'll be extra generous. And the first 500 people to click the link in the description will get two three months of premium membership. So like, hurry, hurry up. So everyone be sure to check it out and explore your creativity with Skillshare. Yo, what's up y'all? I'm exhausted and in New York now. That has nothing to do with the video. This is gonna be the worst outro. Also, before I forget, huge shout out to Crystal and David who featured in this video and helped me through my existential crisis. Uh, shout out to them. Go check them out, links in the description. They have a great channel and we have a video that we did together on theirs. So you should definitely go check that out. Yeah, all right, back to Tired Kurt. I'm still Tired Kurt, but back to that. <laughs> Yo, if you liked that video, be sure to check out my last one about secret girlfriends that you definitely have, or boyfriends, whatever you're into. If you like that video, check out the last one. If you like that one, check out the, the last one. one. Like that, that one, check out the last one. If you like that one, check out the one before it. I'm too tired to think of other things. Uh, check me out on Discord, check out the Patreon, and give me money so I can move to New York and not have to pay $250 for tickets every month. That kind of sucks. All right, y'all. Much love. See you guys soon. Peace. Oh. <laughs>